April 2nd, 2011. This is today's climate change update. Uh, I'm going to start with Fukushima, Japan. Um, YouTuber Leak Spinner. He's got a couple of really good reports out. Uh, Fukushima uh, Daiichi latest update part 1 and 2. I will connect those links down below. And uh, he is covering this very, very, very well. Apparently they found a dog a mile and a half on shore floating on a roof three weeks after the tsunami. So strange stories are happening. Over to earthchangesscott.net. Unseasonal heavy rains flood Thailand. Uh, normally the end of March brings dry weather to tropical Thailand. In 2011, however, a powerful storm settled over um, Malay Peninsula bringing up to 1,270 millimeters or 50 inches of rain in little over than, than little over than a week. Uh, the intense rated rain flooded eight provinces, killing 13, affecting 842,324 people as of April 1st. Uh, the government said. Collapsing roads lead to emergency declaration in California. Uh, Oroville, California. Butte County has declared a local emergency after saturated soil caused the ground to literally slide out from under two of the county's roads. And uh, they've been having a series of landslides all up and down the west coast. Thirteen dead in Vietnam rock slide. At least 13 people were killed and several others trapped beneath a large boulders after a rock slide at a quarry in Vietnam, an official said on Friday. Now they were saying continuous rains over the past few days might have been the reason for the rock slides, adding that hundreds of rescuers have joined the search for the remaining victims. Uh, yesterday they've got the story on uh, U.S. tornadoes, storms, brews, Tampa Bay area, and again that was all over the news. Extinction Protocols got the California story with the landslides. <laughs> They've got a, a fear piece here. Mounting disaster see doomsday bunker sales skyrocket 1,000% in the United States. Uh, everybody's getting bomb bunkers. We had a strong earthquake in Crete. They felt it as far away as Israel, Egypt, and Turkey. On the magnitude 6.0, 5.9 according to the USGS. A Crete earthquake that hit Friday afternoon was felt in Israel, Egypt, and Turkey according to the reports from the United States Geological Survey. Police in the southern coastal town of, I'm not gonna kill it, said the quake struck around 4 30 p.m. and there was and though it was strongly felt no injuries or major damage has been reported. It was strong earthquake in the region that is in the eastern section of the area known as the Aegean Arc. And it's, uh, this is a very seismically active area that has seen more powerful quakes in the past. We are monitoring the post-earthquake activities which so far has not, has not intensified. So uh, again Greece is a very active area. You gotta think the Greek gods, the shaking mountains and the volcanoes and, and a very active area in Greece. <coughs> Tal volcano exhibiting signs of increased unrest in the Philippines. Uh, signs that some sort of eruption might be in the works continue at Tal. Released, um, they've got a P-H-I-V-O-L-C-S, got to be an uh, alphabetized name thing, released a warning today about the increased carbon dioxide emissions at Tal. You better tax that volcano. And uh, it's gearing up. I think I reported on that yesterday. And they've got a really cool um, story out. Uh, gravity, earthquakes, and things that go bump in the night. Uh, they've got a video out about the gravitational stress on the planet. can clearly be seen in the video. Um, they did a uh, Japan by taking more than 70 million observations during the first two years in orbit. A limousine-length satellite has given scientists scientists their most detailed map yet of Earth's gravitational field. Uh, the lumpiness of what the geoid and thero theoretical surfaces planet-wide ocean would take if there was no tides or currents. 
Uh, and it looks like a big lumpy... Gotta check out the video. I'll connect that one below as well. And that's it for Extinction Protocol today. A disaster Alert Network. Uh, we've got a tropical depression in the South China Sea. Tropical Cyclone 20 off the north coast of Australia. Um, earthquakes offshore. Libertador, O'Higgins, Chile. And there's been several quakes right around um, that area in Chile. They've got the reports on the Thailand floods, flooding in Nambia and Angola, Africa. The Vietnam story. More earthquakes off the coast of Japan. Earthquake near Yellowstone National Park. Uh, this event has been reviewed by seismologist uh, 4.1 on April 1st at 12.56.28 UTC. I've seen 4.0 uh, earthquakes out of Yellowstone before, so it's not a big panic situation, but it's definitely an active area. Uh, Chinese, Chinese mainland found low levels of iodine um, from the Fukushima disaster. Avalanche in Europe, Switzerland. Three skiers have died in a massive avalanche in the southern Swiss Alps, the second in a week. Six others escaped. We have a nuclear event in Czechoslovakia, the Czech Republic. An official says the Czech nuclear power plant is shutting down one of its four reactors due to a pipe leaking irradiated, irradiated, irradiated water. But they say there's no big um, public alarm. It's a small leak and they shut it down as a precautionary measure. Radioactive iodine-131 continues to be detected in Hong Kong. Uh, 5.9 off uh, Japan. Death toll official, 11,620 from the earthquake tsunami in Japan. Ten killed, more than 2,000 evacuated as floods hit Papua New Guinea, uh, Indonesia. 172 quake damaged buildings to be demolished in Christchurch. Do you remember they had that big 7.2 and all those major aftershocks? Uh, they are still recovering from that major disaster. Uh, let's not forget, uh, check out what's going on in Port-au-Prince, Haiti. And you want to see what NATO's uh, FEMA camps are going to do for you. Check out Port-au-Prince, Haiti. And a radio radiation detected in beef near embattled nuclear facility in Japan. So the radiation problem just intensifies, intensifies. And again, I'm going to link those two update videos below. He, he's, he describes what's going on much better than I ever could. Um... And that is about it for today. Again, if I missed anything, please let me know. Uh, let's get all this semi-cataloged and let's figure out what's really going on. Um, again, attach your videos below, attach your comments below, and uh, enjoy what you can. Thanks, everybody.